Okay, it's very important you have access to a scale. Um, I'll post a. You can just as long as you order a milligram scale, that's what you want. So you want it grams out to three digits. Um, so able to measure out to 0 0.001 gram. So what we're going to do is we're going to weigh this airplane. I'm relatively sure it's overweight as it is, so I don't think it's going to need ballast. So I don't even have the uh, prop on here, or landing gear yet. I'm just checking. Yeah, it's, this one came out nice and heavy. It's over 10 grams. That's because I used fairly heavy wood on this one. So if your airplane was too weight, you would, um, or underweight, you would add some ballast to ballast it up. Like I said, I used pretty heavy wood on this one, so it came out over. Now, we're not done with the scale. The other important part is, for your rubber, you need to cut it out um, to size. And I'm just going to start with about a 14-inch uh, loop here. We're going to trim it down to the 1.5 gram maximum. That's 1.7 grams, 1 1.6, 1.578, 1.532, 1.507, 1.5 1.478. All right, so that's that's a happy area. Um, so to let you know, that equates to a loop of rubber or a strand of rubber, I should say. That is 16, 24.8 inches long. And then you're going to put O-rings on this and you're going to tie it. So let's go find my baggie of O-ring material. Yours will probably come with uh, black O-rings. Um, that's what we're going to try to supply with it. But in case it doesn't, what you do is you take this, this hard clear tubing and press down until it snaps off. And so you get a piece of tubing that looks like that. I'm going to make a second one of these. And then I'm going to come in here on this piece of rubber and I'm going to snip it to a point. Looks like that. And that way I can slip these O rings over the end. And then we will tie the ends off here. I'm going to tie them fairly close because you don't want to lose any of that precious rubber that um, we sized out here. Preferably put some um, just soap on this so it won't cut itself as you're trying to tie it. So I'm going to tie that once. I'm going to tie it a second time. And now I'm going to hit the knot on this side. I'm going to hit it with um, some glue. And then we will just snip that off, flush with the end, and we're good to go. We'll lubricate it up in a minute. Okay, so Dow Corning 33 is your rubber lubricant. Um, you can also use STP Son of a Gun, um, Armor All, something like that. Do not use that Vaseline, it will eat the rubber alive. Just we're going to slather that on there until that rubber motor is really, really well lubricated and it's good to go. And then, we can slide this around and load it onto the plane. And we'll give it a test glide here in a, um, in a bit. But, the main point is, with that, your airplane is completed. So, there you go.
Very cool, right? Okay, so before we uh, try to fly this, we're going to check the CG on the airplane. It's back here. This is about two inches after the wing uh, trailing edge with the rubber motor on board. I'm going to slide the wing back a little bit. So now. That's about an inch and a half the time the, behind the wing leading edge. That should give us a good result. You should, you can probably go have the wing farther forward than that, um, but you'll have to experiment with that. And since your flight logs require you to run various experiments, that's one you can run. Now, this is a fairly sophisticated setup that I have right here. This is a torque meter. This is a nice winder with a turns counter. What you're going to want to do is go to uh, Valera Products and buy one of their plastic winders. The 15 to 1 is the one to get. And then go over to lasercutplanes.com and buy their torque meter, which clamps to a table. Uh, they call it some sort of super simple or something like that. Um, it's actually a pretty nice torque meter. So, we're going to wind this thing up to 300 turns. Is not very much, and we will load this rubber motor on. So we're using the O-rings, so we grasp it by the O-rings, make sure you don't uh, take the landing gear off and that you get it on the right side of the model. So the rubber motor goes on the right side of the landing gear, like that. So you look, right side, left side. So now we are going to give this airplane its maiden flight. Hopefully it'll fly okay. It's probably going to act a little bit nose heavy and probably going to have to have some stab incidents. Or not. It's actually acting a little tail heavy. So what I will do is I'm going to press the leading edge of the stab up. Just a teensy little bit. That's about a 30 second of an inch. I've got enough turns. I'll go ahead and give this another test run. And it looks very happy now. Of course you can make the airplane turn tighter through varying means. One is to drag this thumbnail along the side there. And it causes it to curve over a little bit. You can also tilt the stab some more. You can actually bend these tips a little if you like. But what we're going to do is we're going to wind it up again. this time. Not as much as I can sensibly do in, in my house here. Let's take this guy off. And if you run into the land, landing gear being a problem, you can just remove them while you're loading and then after you're loaded up, you can um, reinstall the landing gear. But there we go. Now take the airplane and just slide it into the air and away it climbs. So one of the things that you will observe is the airplane is climbing on very little power. That motor will take, uh, I think, about um, 15, 1600 turns, um, and it's already climbing on this small amount. So there are some things you can do to mitigate that. One is you can get thinner rubber. Um, there are a variety of sources for thinner rubber. Um, Retro RC is one. Laser Cut Planes does have thinner rubber as well. Another is you can take a heat gun or something, or even if you're really careful, like a soldering iron or something, and you can soften these spars right here. You can twist the blades to a higher pitch. 
you want to twist them equally. Uh, we do sell a propeller pitch gauge that you can use for that. Um, one of, of many options in that area. So uh, you do gain efficiency by raising this propeller pitch to a point, of course. Uh, but this one is well within the range of, yeah, you can raise that, and it'll behave a lot better. So um, with that, that's the assembly, the flying of the airplane. Uh, questions, comments, put them in the comments section below. And um, we hope you enjoy this airplane. See ya.